All right, uh, I'm calling this my uh, three penny sec experiment, and uh, I'm using the uh, sec 15 3, my homemade one here. And I've got a pretty good uh, ammeter hooked up to it that I'm familiar with, and I know when it's lying to me and when it's not. Plus, I've uh, spent literally years working with that little sec 15 3, so I pretty much know uh, when it hits the right spot. And this is running off 12 volt battery. And uh, what I've got here is, is I've got three pennies. And one is hooked up to this thing right here that you saw in my last video. And then these two here, you notice they're not touching. The one on the top goes to an AV plug, and it's running this motor. And uh, this is my uh, auto start pulse motor that normally is run with a solar cell here. And I just got the solar cell covered up so it doesn't skew the experiment with light but uh, this is running away and I've got a laser RPM tester now I'll show you the RPM on this looks like it's running about 516 RPM and what I wanted to show was what happens when I add this extra plate in whatever kind of junction you want to call that Remember, the energy is coming out of this. It's going out of that L3 coil. It's going into the bottom penny. And then something's happening right there to connect the two systems together to make that pulse motor run. And uh, I'm drawing 38 milliamps, 37 milliamps, 38. And now I'm going to slide this thing in there. I'm going to add load to this. That's going to drop. The RPM is going to go up. And this should be very interesting to the guys working on motors and the guys working on the SEC project. Okay, watch this. There goes my amp draw. Watch the RPM. There goes the RPM. And this only happens at a certain frequency, and Dr. Stifler has told us over and over and over again, the only way this thing is any different than any other <clears throat> electrostatic generator is a certain set of frequencies that this operates at to cause this phenomena. And I am in total agreement with him. If you get this out of phase, it works. It works just fine, but you don't get this. You don't get this you don't get a speed up on another load. And it's this thing right now that I'm really, really, really studying hard. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of a coupling you want to call that. Uh, people are trying to call that a capacitive coupling. If it is, it's sure a weird one. Because watch this, I'll pull this off again here. There goes the amp draw back up. Let's watch our RPM drop. Goes the RPM. Anyway, I just wanted to add that in um, um, my three cents worth today. That's called my three penny experiment with the three pennies here. And the one uh, penny goes right between the other two pennies. And uh, that's just sitting on a little block of wood there to get it off of this plate to make the experiment a little bit uh, cleaner. And that's just a regular AV plug going into this uh, 